Okay, so before you, you see two beautiful ThinkPad computers. You got the ThinkPad X200 and the ThinkPad uh, T420. Uh, so here's the deal. Recently, I had this thing Libre booted. That means I replaced uh, the proprietary BIOS startup manager uh, with Libre boot, which is just a um, you know free and open source equivalent. Uh, so this thing now originally I did that because of you know my freedoms or whatever. Um, but it, as it ends up, as I found out, Libre boot is also way faster than you know BIOS or. Well, yeah, it's way faster than BIOS in every respect. Uh, so I got this computer, I, you know, Libre booted this thing, then I was like, oh, wow, this is actually really nice. Maybe I should just go for a pretty quick boot. Um, so I also installed a solid state drive that's in there, uh, so it actually loads, you know, way faster. So this is just a comparison just to show you what kind of difference you can get with Libre boot or a solid state drive or anything. Uh, so for your information, this model, on the other hand, doesn't have, it has a normal H HDD, has a normal, you know, normal BIOS and all that stuff. It is more modern than this computer. It has a i5. This has a, like a, you know, Intel Core Duo or something like that. Um, and this, I think, came out two years later. Both of them both have eight gigs of RAM, so they're pretty much the same there. Um, but you're going to see that there's a huge difference in boot time. Uh, so I have, well, let me, let's actually time this. Okay. Um, so on both of these machines, again. Um, are pretty much the same. Uh, I have Parabola on both, which is just the Libra equivalent of Arch. Um, so that's the same, but let's just see what kind of time we can get here. Um, all right, let's see if I can... Okay, there. Yeah, that works. Okay. So nothing yet. We got about five seconds. Yep, here comes the ThinkPad screen. Hello, ThinkPad. Then you should have Sys Linux running. We're at 15 seconds or so. Um, screen's going to readjust in a second as it's loading all the firmware and such. Here we go. And I have it so it's going to automatically log in. We're at 30 seconds right now. Uh, all right, it's logging in. And the desktop's going to pop up. Okay, that's about 40 seconds time. And I'm going to turn on I'm going to tell it to bring up the browser just to see how long that takes. So, should pop up in a second. Maybe not. Okay, there we go. There's our browser. So, you know, around 55 seconds, so under a minute. That's pretty good boot time. Um, you know, I was pretty content. I mean, you know, it was better than using Ubuntu for all those years and waiting five minutes for your machine to load. Um, but yeah, so th this is a relatively good boot time. Uh, all things considered for an older machine, but let's compare it with uh, this other one that's now Libre booted, even though it's older, uh, and we're going to... Let me put this down on the tripod. I'm going to need two hands for this. So, um, I'm not going to time this just because I don't have three hands, but let's start these both at once. Okay. So you'll see that Libre boot comes up way faster. It's already loaded chosen what to boot off of, uh, the grub menu, menu has already ro uh, loaded on the right, we're already getting into the operating system, oh, and look, there's my desktop, um, so now it's going to load a browser, there's my browser, and look, on the other side, we haven't even logged in yet, it's still lagging behind with that HDD, um, so yeah, uh, so this is, I, I haven't actually timed it exactly, but I'm pretty sure the, the one on the right uh, boots about twice as fast as the uh, T420. Um, so yeah, this is just to give you a sense for how how much time you're saving. I mean, not really saving, but you know. This is one of those weird abstract and autistic things that some people care about, and I happen to be one of those people. So yeah, so you can get a pretty great boot time just by using an SDD and Libre boot, and this is just, you know, an example. All right, see ya.